Hey guys, so we're out here again ready to uh, harvest some beets. We just purchased the field, so figure we'd actually harvest the crops off of it before we turn it to grass. I've actually never used this. Rather interesting to see how it works. Control Y, turn steering. Seems to work pretty nice. Harvester. I think we need to start this baby up. Width on this is four meters. For whatever reason, the uh, of course, but I didn't want to pick it up. So we're going to take off our beets off this field, hopefully we can get a pretty decent price on it. We took out a loan just in order to like rent this equipment. And then we're going to turn probably some of this field to grass again so we can do hay. I'm sure we're probably going to start doing cows. What kind of different lights we have going on here? I have to say, I'm really digging this game. I've been, um, uh, ever since I got home, I've been playing this thing, and it's now almost 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So I've been working on trying to uh, convert some mods. I finally finished up my CT660, my easy to load low loader. And now I just converted my Mandaco um, 80, uh, 85 foot roller. And uh, fully converted lights, textures, shaders, including uh, wheel uh, deformation. Mandako, the trailer, the truck. So um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm leaving the rim because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any reason to modify the rim. So I leave the rim um, in the main i3D, and then I just export the rubber components, and I add that as a separate shape in XML that it can import into the model. And it seems to be working very well. But so far everything's going pretty well. Log is clean. Um, the roller works a lot better actually than it did in 15 with the collisions. Um, but I mean that's not really surprising. At least not to me. Um, I tried um, 
adding additional wheels to it because there's some do wheels that are scripted as one just because in 15 you can't have more than 10 wheels if you have more than six components um, so I tried upping the wheel count on the components and it still has that same issue so I don't think um, we're ever going to be able to get a something that has more than six components con you know with more than 10 wheels so I think that's still our cap unless they for some reason patch and remove that restriction which would be nice if they could um, for those of us who you know work on larger maps and stuff eventually um, would like the ability to make some larger equipment maybe some larger field cultivators uh, larger air seeders Right now, that Mandaco, that that is exceeding. <laughs> that is actually exceeding the limitations of the game, which is kind of sad. That a uh, land roller is about as complex of an implement you can make, wheel and component-wise. So, kind of eliminates the ability to make large corn planters with flexing row units if you have a lot of wheels. Stuff like that are air seeders, uh, cultivators. I mean, that's really about it for large scale implements, but still, I mean, you have 600 horsepower tractors that are designed to pull that kind of equipment. And it looks really cool, so I mean, slightly disappointing that the game really won't allow for that kind of equipment. Even though, you know, most of us have pretty decent gaming computers, you know, $800,000 computers, so, I mean, can definitely handle whatever the, whatever we put into it. I wonder where you sell beats. I don't have a really big, I haven't converted any trailers yet, like my Mac N dump or Wilson's or any grain trailers or heavy, uh, heavy commodity trailers or anything like that. So I think I'll have to use the in-game one or maybe uh, look up that Challenger tractor. Um, if you haven't noticed, there's uh, a couple mods uh, that Giants released. Ground response and um, this particle, this real particle. Um, so some really cool, cool new scripts by Giants. Really makes the cab come more alive. Looks really nice with the wheels. Uh, not so much with the tracks, um, but the wheels definitely have some nice particle animations. I, w I wish that they would have, um, maybe they will, I don't know, they might update it, but if you can have some cool animations on the tracks, that would be even more badass than the wheels. So believe it or not, this is my first time ever using this. I had it um, in 15. I actually just never used it. So this is actually my first time ever using this harvester. I kind of want to use that pile or This is a pretty large field. I'd hire a worker to do it, but it would cost me an arm and a leg to... Actually, he could probably pick this in an hour if I hired him out, which would probably cost me 2000 bucks or something like that. Which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't a whole lot of money. So 
I haven't used the hired work yet either, so I think that's what I'm going to do right now, is test out this hired worker. Let's see what we got for tippers. We use this IT runner. Be interesting. Do we got anything? First of all, where do we even sell? Who takes beats? Golden Crest Pacific Grain take sugar beets? Golden Crest. Oh, they're way down there. Alright. Uh, this guy. Maple Field Mill. For Trank. Oh, that's just on the road. Yeah, we can unload there. Uh, rather than just use my challenger, we can rent a big tipper. And then this thing can haul. Yeah, that can haul it. This thing can haul 31,000. This can haul it as well. It's 47,000. This thing, not so much. Let's do 33. Let's go with this big old, big girl. Sugar beets. Kind of miss my glance mod. I can't really see what my hired workers do. be able to take a decent amount out of this bin there. And I'm told the prices are supposed to update daily, not hourly. Taking our first load of beets on over. I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to sell it, but I know it's over here somewhere. Time to 
around and see how much money we get. There's a cell point over here. Nope. This is only for trains, I guess. I guess we'll just uh, pile them at the field and then figure it out later. That way we can use that beat piler. That's probably why it was a lot more money than anywhere else. This guy quit. See how this hired worker
have two of these harvesters going in this field. So we rolled that that uh, field. That that's going to turn to grass, and then we're going to probably uh, do the same for at least half this field. That way we have hay and and uh, hay and silage, and then we can do like some kind of grain or. Whatever else, animals, okay, so cows, they need grass, power food, what is power food? They need water, so we could do that, or we could do, is there no beef? Pigs. For some reason, I thought there was beef, but apparently not. Does anyone know what power food is? Is that somewhere? What is power food? Let's go. Tell us anything about power food? Advanced knowledge. I don't know what power food is.
anyways guys, I'll probably end the video here. Uh, so thanks for watching.